Hey, hello and welcome you guys. I'm um, getting ready to do a little read. Today is a beautiful Saturday here where I'm at. Makes no difference what day it is when you see this. This reading is timeless. Um, whenever you stumble across this, it is pertinent for you. I've got some Palo Santo going right here and uh, there we go. Waited, waiting for the flame to go out. Um, I love Palo Santo. It has a nice, a little more of a cedary smell to it. And does the same thing that sage does. Very powerful, very good cleanser, neutralizer, ridding any negative energy. It's up to you, though, to bring in the new energy. Um, you have to welcome it in with blessing. You just can't ask uh, spirit to do all the work. Okay? All right. I'm going to pull a uh, oracle card here. This is a uh, horoscope oracle card, and these are a little big, so I don't know if I'm going to get a jumper or not. Ah. <laughs> so as I say, all right, I drop those. As soon as I say it, um, it popped out. All right, the south node. The south node is a point on your um, astrological chart. It is, there is a south node and obviously a north node, and that, that is, um, those are moon, how, did this, how do I describe this? Those are locations on the moon, not on the moon, but of your moon in your chart, okay? We have a north node and a south node of the, your moon. And this one refers to life's debts. Number 42. Hi, Kitty. Are you coming in? Um, those life debts are about making sure you repay the kindnesses that were paid to you. It, 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 that's part of karma. When people show you kindness, uh, when they do nice things for you, and you kind of forget about it, the universe doesn't. So try and remember those folks, anybody that's kind to you. Um, all you got to do is go in your head and thank them, bless them, love them. Comes back tenfold on you. Every time you say a prayer for somebody, every time you wish somebody well, um, comes back on you in a good way. Same way as every thought you have that, ooh. I don't like her. You know, she didn't att attend the, uh, the, the meeting and, the, you know, the, the hell with her. Um, that You're building karma. You're building karma. You cannot qu quote scripture with hatred in your heart. You're creating your own karma. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, one, one more jumper, please. And I've got one on the floor. Okay, this is looking okay for you guys. You know, this reading may not resonate with everybody. If it doesn't, um, don't let that bother you. Let that go. Pop in and see the next video. Um, that just may be uh, resonating with you. When I reach out and pick up energy for my readings, it's for the collective. So the majority of you, um, this, this reading is going to make a lot of sense. All right. Somebody's gone through a, a deep disappointment. Hang on just a second here. Let me see. I had the light awake earlier. Let's see if it's still with me. Do I need to adjust it? Oh, no. Okay, Spirit, you're back there on the light. Thank you. All right. I just usually roll it around a little bit. See. <laughs> Let's see if I can wake him up. Um, all right, Spirit, if you're back there, can I get a little wink or blink then? All right, I'm going to go ahead. You guys to follow me know how that light works. It may come on or off throughout the reading. Either way, this validating spirit is in the room. They nor normally give me an acknowledgement, just letting me know they are there. Um, however, if it doesn't come on or off, pay no attention to the band behind <laughs> the curtain. All right. Yeah, you guys, somebody's gone through some a, a real disappointment here with this Ten of, Wands, or ten of Swords. Um, something didn't turn out the way you thought it would. Somebody did not turn out to be who you thought they would. 
um, it kind of felt like a betrayal a little bit to you. And that's what that Ten of Swords, take a look at it. He's stabbed in the back. That's how it felt. But it wasn't the intentions that that person had or that situation. Um, you're going through something that's pretty karmic. You know, it's funny I brought up karma. Um, you're going through something that's very karmic that you need to work through and get to come out the other side as the victor here. We have the hangman. Uh, hangman's in reverse. So you're holding back your own enlightenment right now a little bit. You're not wanting to see that this other person was not who you thought they were. Um, the Emperor came up and that's all about, I think this dynamic between these two people, whoever you guys are, um, there was a power play here. Man, the Emperor came up. It was always one, one upsmanship in this connection. You know, if you said you rode the, uh, a fast motorcycle, they would tell you they rode the fastest. If you were a skydiver and jumped out at, I don't, I don't even know how, how far that um, you have to go up to even jump. But let's just say uh, you said you jumped out at 2,000 feet. They jumped out at 10,000 feet. Okay, This person was always one upsman on everything. There was a lot of control that they wanted. You, however, whoever it is that I am talking to, are, uh, you know what? You saw it. You saw it. Um, and you're going to bring it back into balance. We've got the Two of Pentacles here. This Two of Pentacles is, um, you know what? I see the reality of what really is as opposed to what I wanted it. And usually with that, uh, that Two of Pentacles, That's, that's kind of about, um, I'm trying to make connection for the reading here. That Two of Pentacles, it's, you know what, there's a lot of ups and downs that are still going to happen yet. This situation isn't completely over. Um, take a look at those waves behind him. Up and down, ship clear out there. There's two ships out there in the background. Uh, let me slide that in so you can really get a good look at it. All right. It, it's going to get wavy again for you. Um, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Have no fear. The temperance is here. Um, the temperance card came up. And that's all about finding um, the patience that you need to take you through this. Uh, this is St. Michael. This is also telling me that this is something that is meant to happen, kind of in a divine way. Um Again, we're bringing, it's coming back to being, this is a karmic connection for somebody. Um, you might think this person was um, your soulmate. You might um, have thought this person was going to be the be-all, end-all. And they brought you the um, Seven of Cups. A whole lot of chaos, a whole lot of drama. Um, it came up in reverse. The, the opportunities are there, but you can't see it because you have to deal with this other person and what's happening in the background for them. Um, this, this person that you're dealing with has a lot of confusion going on in their head. They may actually be somebody that is a little... I don't want to say bipolar, but a little, you know, just a little out of sorts, too. Kind of all over the spectrum. All right, grabbing another deck here. Going to ask for some validating energies uh, from these cards. Wow. Spirit, are you on the light back there at all? That one seemed to want out. And then it jumped on the floor. All right, okay, let's see what... That's all further I'm going with this. 
crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You can't make this shit up. All right. I, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to spring this on you. Again, the temperance and the hangman. A different deck. This is something that is going to be um, very powerful and very dynamic for whoever this is that this is resonating with because these are major arcana cards. Um, th that's really the exclamation point behind a reading is if you've gotten a lot of major arcana and there are, um, there's the temper, or excuse me, the emperor and the temperance, another temperance, temperance, another hangman. And we also have the eight of wands that came up here. So this is, you're, you're going to get a, um, some kind of a message or a correspondence. You're going to hear a word. Something's going to come through to you about what is going on with this connection. It's almost like this person might want to break it up long distance. Uh, the motorcycles let me showed me that long distance man let's get out of dodge they don't want to be around they they want to do this um from a long distance that's that hurt feelings uh feeling like a betrayal going on there uh everything kind of falls into place by the end of the reading um have no response on the light but you know what someday spirit just has more important things to do I, all right i'm going to wrap this up here and i never leave you that i don't bless you with love and light See you soon.